specific fuel oil consumption well in our case it's not just fuel oil it's specific gas consumption as well welcome back to my channel i'm sean the deep sea man and today you're going to see fuel consumption about gas consumption what is sfoc or specific fuel oil consumption but remember there's gas in these dual fuel engines so you know you got to think about sgc so i'm sure you don't know what that is now specific gas consumption too so let's dive in and let's look at these two components and let's find a comparison. So what do you think would be more, gas or fuel or both the same? Stay tuned and let's go into this right away. So let's go and let's see how we accumulate this data. The fuel consumption, the gas consumption, the energy, the power, how we accumulate all this data and then do the calculations. So very simple, for fuel consumptions, you have your standard flow meter and then your density corrections, your temperature corrections, and that's pretty normal. Gas, let's go into the CMR and let's look at the gas flow meter there. That's a standard mass flow meter that we have installed right there in the CMR. So this is the display that gives you the instantaneous flow rate. Well, that's it from the CMR and let's head out to the Kongsberg. So there is the display in kg per hour the total flow meter and that's how we get the gas readings and for the power the shaft power we have a shaft torque meter that's installed the kaima one of the most uh, common brands that we see around so the shaft power meter if you want to calculate shaft uh, sfoc or the pmi computer that will help you calculate your indicated sfoc let's take my average readings at about 75 percent engine load and calculate specific fuel consumption that's the fuel oil for the pilot and the fuel oil for the gas so anyway for a quick reference let's just look at both the sensor a sensor b the blue is the fuel oil the red is the gas and that's the split index on the mopa so let's get back to the topic specific fuel oil consumption or specific fuel consumption it's simply the mass of fuel consumed per unit of power so you divide the mass of fuel consumed in a particular given time divided by the energy for that particular time or you just take the mass flow rate divided by the instantaneous power and remember these are the dual fuel engines that i'm talking about so we have two kinds of fuel that are consumed the pilot fuel which is fuel oil or diesel oil and the gas fuel ethane in the case that i'm using on this engine so the specific fuel consumption will be the pilot sfoc and the gas sgc in this case so let's take the readings, let's take the parameters at 75% of my engine load, which is around 11,400 kilowatt. My pilot fuel will be 4.8 tons per day, about 200 kg per hour, and the gas fuel at about 40 tons per day, so approximately 1,667 kg per hour. So let's do this for the pilot fuel. So that's 200 kg per hour into 10 raised to 3 and 11,400, which will give you. 17.5 grams per kilowatt hour and for the gas 1667 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 11400 which will be 146.2 grams per kilowatt hour and the total well i'm sure you can guess it would just be straightforward and simple you add the pilot and you add the gas and let me tell you you are absolutely wrong that's not the way you can add specific fuel consumption especially for two different kinds of fuels do you know why lower calorific value that's very very simple so for ethane different lcv and for fuel or diesel a different lcv the lcv for ethane is about 47.1 to 47.5 kilojoules per kilogram whereas you look at the lcv for diesel which is about 43.5 and for fuel is about 40 to 41 kilojoules per kilogram so with such large differences in their lower caloric value there's no way we can use the same figures so we need a common ground a level field where we can compare these parameters so this is the heat rate that's simply your sfoc multiplied by the lcv so now let's calculate this effective fuel consumption that's your pilot sfoc and the sgc the specific gas consumption but let's convert it to the LCV ratios for that we multiply the specific gas consumption into the fuel oil LCV and divide it by your gas LCV. So that gives you an effective LCV. So with this, we can calculate an effective LCV. As you see, this figure A is definitely lower than figure B. 
So I hope this was quite a bit of an eye opener for most of you who haven't uh, actually calculated or haven't actually thought about these dual fuel engines and their specific consumptions, specific fuel oil consumptions, specific gas consumptions. The one that I just showed are simple basics without the ISO corrections. The numbers and figures that I've mentioned, we've gone through without the ISO calculations, the ISO corrections, I mean. So please use this as a reference and use your respective ISO corrections and the other correction factors that you may need. But this is the basics. Well, I hope you learned something new about these dual fuel engines, how to calculate this uh, specific gas consumption, specific fuel oil consumption, and what's the difference between the both. And you know, you can't just equate numbers. It's the matter of the LCV, the lower calorific value. Of course, a fuel that is of higher quality will burn with lesser amount for the same power. So remember, LCV matters. And this video was a, a request by one of my subscribers, Miss Aritra Singh Chaudhary. Thank you very much. And surely I would have made this at some time. I thought about it, but I was a bit lazy. And this comment from the subscriber did uh, inspire me. That's it for now. Take care. Bye-bye. Share this video with your friends on dual fuel and those interested in learning about dual fuel.